In this video, we will learn how to emulate character movement within a 2D parallax background. So to start off, we'll create our script. Call it parallax underscore movement. Once you've done that, go ahead and open it up. To start off, we need to create a couple of variables. Both of them are floats. First one will be called scroll speed x, and we'll set it to 0 0.005. The next one will be offset x, and set that to 0. In our update function, we will check if input dot get button horizontal. which is essentially checking if the left or right arrow is being pressed. And inside there, we will check which one we press by checking if access horizontal. We will check if that is greater than 0 0.1. If it is, then offset x plus equals scroll speed x. And then you need to access the renderer, the material, and have it do a set texture offset. Then in here, we'll access the main text, which is the diffuse shader. And then in, for our offset, we'll just be using the X. So offset X, and then for the Y, set that to zero. Just copy that if statement down and change this to a less than sign and change that to zero. And down here, Change this from a plus equal to a minus equal. So what we're doing here is checking first if you press the left or right button. And then inside there, we check which button. This first one is checking for the right button. So the right arrow. And this one down here is checking for the left arrow. Once one of those is pressed, our offset variable is being modified and then we are setting the texture offset accordingly. The same goes for the left arrow. Once you've done that, go ahead and save it and we'll go test it out. In order to test this out, we will need a plane, a camera, a light, and a capsule. The capsule, I'm just using it as a character placeholder. You use any game object you want. On our plane, you need to make sure there is a texture on it. And we could drag our script onto it. Once you've done that, go ahead and press play. As you can see right now, the background isn't moving. If you were to press left, it would look like the character is moving left. If you were to press right, it would look like the character is moving right. Now it looks to the player that the character is moving around, but actually the environment is moving around the character. This is commonly used in shoot 'em up games. Games that you're in a spaceship or a airplane flying over a background. It looks like in those games that your your spaceship is moving around when actually it's the stars and the planets behind it that's making it look like it your character is moving. And with that, you have successfully created a script that implements character movement with a 2D parallax background.